Hello everyone, welcome to Nixie Bobs and welcome to day five of uh, Sleek's Advent Calendar Bazaar, but you'll notice uh, day five is already undone. Uh, that is because I uh, just recorded this and the battery died midway through and it's corrupted the file. So I'm going to have to reshoot this with you and show you what came out of it. So yesterday I said that I thought we were going to get an eyeliner. I was actually wrong. We have actually got a lip liner. I'm going to put this on for you again and show you how it works. The shade we have is Deep Cherry. I'm going to draw it back on my hand. It's a shame because this went so well as well, uh, but it just died through and it's the file is completely unusable. Let's hope this one doesn't mute, okay? I, I live in fear every time this happens now. Uh, it's my fault because I didn't charge up the camera. I should know that I need to keep the camera charged at this point anyway. So here is a shade Deep Cherry. It is a lovely, lovely purple. To show you how this works, I am going to apply it with a lipstick. Uh, the lipstick I am going to use is Marana from the Urban Decay Alice in Wonderland collection. I'm also hoping as well, as I said in the first rendition of this, that this is going to be a better product than the liquid lipstick that we got a few days ago because this did let me down and on top of the fact that it was not my color anyway it really didn't last very well I would not that that I think is the worst product we've had so far in the whole box and the whole box in the whole calendar so I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips with this lovely little thing so what I found when I did this first is that it's really soft and I need to stop talking to do this so I can get a straight line so you can see that it's just gliding on. I'm barely even pressing. The pigmentation is great. It's not hard in any way. I don't know, is there a... I don't know. Sometimes under in the bottom of here you get like a little sharpener feature for this. So once the point goes, I don't know how that's going to fare. I don't know if it's going to be like the Smashbox liner I had once. Where uh, that sharpened itself you could twist that up and it automatically repointed and we're back to being oh so 1990s look this is just the best look ever i think so no i don't i'm remembering now that i'm putting this in the bag to my right the bag to my right is what i'm keeping all of the goodies that we get from this calendar in so on to mirana and to cut a little corner i am just gonna apply this i'm not gonna touch it Oh, now that's an even better look. Look at that. And I'm going to blend it out in a lip brush because it will last a little bit longer on my mouth this way. So my instant impression with this is that the colours blend perfectly well. You can't tell the liner from the lipstick, which is what you want in a good lip liner. I feel like I'm slightly out on this side. Let me just correct that because that's really distracting. All right, this is a statement purple. Uh, the whole lip liner is statement, but I think it's really good. Obviously, it's reflecting against my paleness very much right now, but that, I think, is one of my most impressive products so far uh, behind the blush, I think. And I think as well, I wouldn't just use that as a lip liner. I think if I was looking for a bit of color on an eyeliner, I could definitely use this. So the downside of this is that once the point does go, you're going to be left with a little bit of a flat liner and I don't know how you would go about re-pointing that if that makes sense but I'm very impressed with that it smooths on it's not sharp it's not pointy and that's what you want you don't want something that you feel like especially when it's a budget brand like this you don't want to feel like you're just literally gnawing a line into your own mouth we opened this calendar as well uh and it was day five now there's a joke in this and it's going to finish in the next part. What does Santa do in his garden? He ho ho hoes it. Hoes as in H-O-E-S. Okay, Thorntons. Rethink, guys. It's so after five days. I'm slightly a little bit mind messed, but I'm good. Tomorrow is day six. I know not where day six is. Oh, we have something big tomorrow. Woohoo! Fun. There's day six. I will see you all tomorrow for day six. I'm hoping to God this didn't come out mute. Bye, everyone.